Doctor, can you explain what fisetin is? So uh, fisetin is a uh, flavonoid. So these flavonoids are, uh, became very popular um, over the years. While there's been about 50 years of work done on them, they've become very popular lately because they're considered unbelievable antioxidants. Um, and so what makes something an antioxidant is that I guess more and more people are starting to learn about uh, reactive oxygen species and these types of things. But on a cellular level, there's always an interplay between energy and the side effects of energy that are really bad for you. So what happens is as your body converts oxygen and sugar and stuff into actually usable energy, that usable energy is ATP. Okay. So what happens is the more of this you get produced, a side effect of this is you get these things called reactive oxygen species. And these things are extremely bad because they cause damage to other molecules and proteins inside of cells. And eventually what happens is you accumulate more and more of these over time, they cause greater and greater amounts of damage in your cells, which actually causes cellular death. Well, once you start causing cellular death, you're starting to then get into tissues, where now you're causing tissue damage. So it's thought of as perhaps the central mechanism that causes aging, and almost all the defects that occur with aging, whether they be cognitive or skin related, really are thought of as a major playing being this accumulation of reactive oxygen species. And physicin as a flavonoid is one of the best uh, antioxidants to fight this process during the aging process. Uh, additionally to that, it has some other uh, mechanisms that are important in cognition uh, that make it unique as much uh, of a make it a unique flavonoid, which is sort mm -hmm. of the, uh, compared to other flavonoids. Can you talk about where it's found? I mean, is there other food sources? So, uh, so like at, at the best uh, food source for uh, physetin is strawberries. Okay. So whenever you hear on TV that strawberries are usually uh, found to be good uh, for certain uh, conditions, whether they be uh, cognitive conditions or mm -hmm. whether they be heart-related conditions, most likely what makes the strawberries unique is that they, of all the things you eat, they have one of the highest sources of uh, physetin. Um, now, there are, physetin is also found in a lot of like tree barks and roots and things like that. Things you can't eat, but things that if you can get that out of there, mm -hmm. suddenly it becomes a great supplement. You know, and, and that's what makes physetin kind of unique is that it, it's found in a lot of like tree barks and things like that that animals can eat, but that uh, humans are, don't have the digestion mm -hmm. to eat. But uh, if you ask me, is there one fruit or one vegetable which kind of tells the whole Fizenton story, strawberries. Anytime on TV you hear about the health benefits of strawberries, what they're really talking about is the health benefits of Fizenton, which is very found in it.